ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you this 2017, February 2017, Vanquish Zagato Coupe. So this is a car that's finished in lava red metallic. And uh, the first thing I should point out is it's incredibly low mileage. So we'll have a little look at the condition as we go around, but um, on the basis it's done less than 200 miles, it's done 189 to be precise. Um, the condition reflects it, so it's, it's beautiful. So lava red um, is quite a significant color for this model because it's actually the color that was used at Villa Deste where the car was launched to the world um, back in 2016. So it, um, it won Villa Deste. And Aston Martin chose the red because one, it's got some history with Zagato and two, reds tend to be successful when they're, they're shown at Villa Deste, when they're entered in, into Villa Deste. So um, it's, it's a great color and what you definitely get is it, it picks up all of the lines. It's light enough to be able to show all of those contrasts of carbon fiber and black and the chrome detailing. It works really well. So let's have a look around the car. First of all, one of the things I wanted to talk about is why the Vanquish Zagato Coupe is just such a capable all-round GT car. So not only is it incredibly rare and beautiful, but it's immensely usable as well. Um, so it is a car that can be enjoyed and you can put miles on. Now there's no doubt that there's more hardcore, more extreme supercars out there, and there's probably softer, more luxurious, one could say almost wafty luxury cars, but there's very little that sits in the middle in terms of being such a sporty GT, a car that's great at long distance, um, but also has a fantastic chassis. So let's start at the front. One thing that, divides, uh, that, that marks a, a Zagato out um, instantly is this grille, and you may be able to make out the Z pattern throughout. It's a, a really intricate grille, and either side we've got these um, piercing driving lamps um, that are enormously bright when, when they're on. And the car's got Bizem on headlamps as well, in addition. Now, one of the things you might pick up is nowhere on the front, and same for the rear, are their parking sensors. And the reason for that is it's believed or, or viewed that parking sensors might detract from the beautiful, pure design. And so it, um, it has cameras front and rear, um, but no parking sensors themselves. So just keeping that clean and beautiful look. So, bonnet badge, that has a red Aston Martin finish, and that denotes this has been a, a very special limited run model, so um, there's very few cars that wear the, the red Aston Martin wings. Under the bonnet is a six litre V12, and again, this makes it a significant car because it's the last of an era to run the naturally aspirated six litre V12 engine. And it sounds incredible. It's combined with an eight speed automatic, a ZF box, which is beautifully smooth, really fast shifting and actually lightweight as well. And a robust gearbox that gives great high speed cruising, really good for performance. And it's got a carbon fiber prop shaft. So it's a transaxle layout, which is great for weight distribution. So it has 51, 49 weight distribution, which is absolutely superb for a car like this. So coming down the side, Beautiful wheels, naturally they're all perfect and haven't been curbed. And behind them are carbon ceramic brakes. And those brakes um, are not only enormously powerful, but they reduce unsprung mass. So it helps with handling and suspension performance. And the other nice thing is actually just day to day, um, other than the fact that they're enormously resistant to fade, um, they create less brake dust. So your wheels stay cleaner for longer. Looking up the side, chrome side strake, to match the chrome Z, and you can probably just see the carbon side sill there and the window pillar. So when you look at the car from the side, you've got this wonderful, wonderful effect where you've almost got the roof hovering um, above the cabin. Now, carbon has been used extensively to create this shape, and it really is a remarkable shape. So we take in the rear. I think this is probably the best rear end of maybe any car of the modern era. One of the, the aspects that really makes it stand out, 
are these rear lights, which look like almost afterburners when you see the car traveling at night. They're called light blades, and they almost sort of burst out the back end. And you can see quad exhausts with a black finish. Um, the exhaust note of this car is just incredible. Now, another important uh, design element of a Zagato, it's not exclusive to all of them, um, but, but certainly synonymous with Zagato is the double bubble roof. And you can probably make that out there where you've got two humps in the roof. So that is not present even in all Vanquish Zagatos because naturally a Volante or a Carvalho roof, you, you can't have a double bubble roof. But that was initially introduced for a practical reason. It simply allowed race drivers to wear their crash helmets within the car when they had a low roof line. But just look at that line there. Such an incredible shape. When you see these cars out on the road, they look just like nothing else. And particularly in this striking red, you just, you just can't miss it. Lava red is synonymous with the Vanquish Segato. Okay, look at in the boot. So I can pop that open off, off the key. So the boot's actually a good size. Now this is a two plus two, but the rear seats are really quite small. So what people tend to use them for is to put soft luggage and coats behind the seats. But you'll get a decent amount of luggage in here. Let's just pan out a bit so you can get a, a feel for the shape. It's quite deep. And there's a bit of room under the parcel shelf as well. So it has its umbrella in place. First aid kit as well and a full service history. So that's sitting in the boot, but all of the stamps have been done um, and it has just been serviced last in January. So it's not due until January 22. It's actually an MOT as well. So the car comes with 12 months MOT. And as we look at the hatch, there's some beautiful detail. You can see this carbon weave, weave here all the way around. Lovely leather, door, leather handle there just to grab and to close. And that's soft close, so it just sucks itself shut. Hidden just under here is a, an aerodynamic blade that pops up to increase downforce at the back, back end. So whilst we describe this as a Super GT, a Super Grand Tourer, it's an immensely fast car, so it's capable of over 200 miles an hour. But it's also a great Tourer, not only because it's got some lovely boot space, but there we've got the filler cap. Um, it has a 78 litre tank, so about 17.2 UK gallons. So on a long run, you can probably get close to 400 miles range out of the car. So that combined with the fact that as we look into the interior, it's actually very comfortable and well appointed. So we mentioned the eight speed gearbox so that allows really long-legged cruising, particularly with that, that big V12 up front. These seats are enormously comfortable and they've got lumbar support as well as being fully electric um, and they're heated. And this particular car has been specced with the ventilated seats as well. So really comfy place to sit. And then you've got a great sound system. Now, Aston Martin often get a hard time about their, um, their infotainment systems, but it's very good in the, the, the last of this era of cars. So it's got um, a Wi-Fi hub. It's got a thousand watt B&O sound system with beautiful tweeters that rise up out of the dashboard when you turn the sound system on. It's got wireless music streaming, DAB, and actually a very good sat nav. So um, it, it's, it has everything you could possibly need. Some of this detail here, it's got carbon fiber herringbone central dashboard trim and then the bronze detailing on the rotary controls as well as the center steering wheel just denotes that this is a Zagato and look at this beautiful patterning to go with the exterior the stitch for the Zs and then a full leather headlining So there we go. So an incredibly low mileage Vanquish Zagato Coupe that is ready to be enjoyed. 
It's one of 99 cars made for the whole world. Um, and it's as, as close to new as you could possibly get. Thank you for watching the video.